Hi my creative friends, it's Finever here. I wanted to show you today how I've made my latest collage inspired by Art Daily Cafe mood board. Uh, it was January 2020 and the topic is maps. I believe maps are uh, really special objects. They are not only um, showing you the way to the physical places, uh, to the cities or um, to the villages or to the wilderness you want to visit. Uh, they may be more metaphysical, something that is going to be good description of your plans, of your dreams, something that um, is giving you inspiration to move forward. It's a way to um, in show the path that you were on and you are uh, following and um, you know they on the one hand they show you the past on the other they show you the present and the future which is absolutely magical i think and um, i wanted to show that magic in my own project i wanted to show that the map may be in fact the map of your dreams the map of your hopes and plans places that you would like to see places that you would like to get to but not just physically but where you would like to see yourself in the future maps show the past maps show the ten the present tense and the future so it's all encapsulated in that uh, in that map so hmm, let me take you for that journey I started the whole process of thinking uh, on um, the project when I was looking at the stash of papers. I wanted to create something between collage and a journal page. That's why I picked the, all the book cover as my base. I wanted to show the beautiful old brown paper of it. It has beautiful spine, it has beautiful uh, two sturdy pages to work on and that was my starting point. Then I looked through the uh, papers, I picked the ones that I had um, with the maps on them. I picked some of the pages from the old books and some handwritten notes. I took some photos that look, look, looked promising, tissue papers, doilies. I even had some stencil. You know, all that together will help me build layers on the top of my book cover. But I have to admit, I had image in my head when I was starting it and it was based on uh, one of the photos. Once I've placed all the papers and images in front of me, I started working on the project. I used soft gel, soft gloss gel uh, this time to uh, use the paper scraps to um, create layers. I was just gluing them randomly. Well, not really randomly. I was gluing them on both sides of the composition to create some balance, trying to keep the um, pieces closer to the future center of my composition. So you can see that I was adding on both sides at the same time, but uh, the left side of the project was planned to be the balancing part, the smaller composition and the right side was supposed to be the main composition, so it's bigger and more layered. Some of the pieces I had, they were cut. Some of them I was just tearing and trying to find the right placement for them. And uh, during that cre the, the, this creative process, I was uh, checking a couple of positions for the elements. I was uh, checking with my photo how much space I've got just to go to the look that I was planning to get. So a lot of paper layers together with some tapes and some doilies and the uh, photo that would be um, sitting on the top of that. But I wasn't going too crazy dimensional, to be honest. It was just... Um, you know, a lot of paper layers together with more uh, flat elements I could find.
Once I was happy with the layers I created, I decided it's uh, time to spice the things up a little bit and uh, to use the stencil and some dimensional effects. So I've taken uh, modeling paste from Art Basics for my collection and I added um, text, like this is Celtic text, to some parts of my composition. After that I had to dry it because I didn't want to stick to it by accident and I wanted to add more layers. Once the modelic paste was dry, I could stick more uh, elements to my composition to partly cover the modeling paste. Uh, and, um, I was also taking heavier, more sturdy elements at that time and I used 3D matte uh, gel for gluing them because soft gel is more liquid, it's better for the delicate uh, papers, for the delicate embellishments, for the sturdy stuff I prefer something thicker. You can see when I was uh, gluing the elements down, I was also using, using the photo I wanted to include in the project to measure how much um, space I've got and which elements will be visible. This way it's easier to plan um, your project and make sure all the beautiful edges will be uh, in the right places. On some point, uh, I decided to add some tissue paper over my elements to create uh, another uh, layer, another look that uh, would be interesting in my project. And I glued that with the soft gel. After that, of course, again, I had to uh, dry everything because all the gels were making the projects quite wet. The problem with the gels is after drying they are resisting, so uh, it will be not easy to paint on them. That's why the perfect solution is clear gesso. I covered my whole collage with the thin layer of Art Basics clear gesso, which is almost invisible but beautifully matte and it's so easy to write and draw on the top and add some paints or any other mediums you like. Once clear gesso is dry, it's completely invisible, so you can uh, work with any colors you like on the top easily. My next plan was to add some uh, tea stains that would be making my project even more vintage looking. And I used very strong tea infusion in the spray bottle and I splattered that in some places. And of course, tried that with the heat gun to make sure I can continue with other elements and colors on the top. Next I was adding uh, fabric tapes and measuring where to put my photo, adding some first elements, checking what I can do. I had the concept of a uh, photo that will be sitting on the top of the paper elements, but I wanted to include some metal elements as well. Uh, that's why I was looking at my mechanicals, especially the rusty ones. And I finally picked the paper clip and some metal cogs. In the video you can see how I'm looking for the perfect elements, uh, measuring, checking. This is how I work. I don't really have everything ready in my head. Just the general concept of the project, which may also change. But uh, when you have a um, set of supplies in front of you, ideas just come to your mind and you can easily add more bits and pieces and build the project as you are um, working because it's uh, much easier for me to respond to what I've got in front of me instead of planning everything ahead. For me, it would be completely impossible. So we uh, started with the metal elements and some doilies, but soon I started adding some lace elements and then the story continued. Finally, it was time to create a map halo and because uh, I wanted this element to be sitting on the top of the layers, I wanted uh, this uh, to be quite uh, sturdy, not too flimsy. So I had to stick some supporting cardboard on the back of the paper and then I was able to create um, the halo in the size that would be fitting uh, together with my photo on the top of my project. 
the easiest way to do it it was just use the soft gel and then dry it completely and once the papers were dry to touch i could use the big punch to create a circle <laughs> it's a it's a shortcut i know but i'm not really great at cutting circles when the halo was ready i could finally uh, put it in the right position on under the photo and start working at uh, adding the last pieces to the project before gluing everything down completely. This was really fun part and you know uh, it's just moment when you have to decide if it's ready or not if you can stop yourself now or maybe you should add a little bit more. My favorite element I wanted to include in that project were the little old pieces or from the spine of the book. They don't look too pretty but for me they were just simply amazing and I wanted to have them for sure. At the, at the point when I was adding the last elements I was using more of the 3D matte gel for gluing elements. It's a really sticky gel medium and you can easily use it for adding anything you like. Uh, well of course um, it is going to be transparent after drying so you don't have to worry that maybe some parts of uh, of the gel will be visible that's a great advantage of using gels for gluing at some point i found that a little strip of the metal mesh that i was using in one of the previous projects and i decided it's the perfect element to add to this project as well and i added some more bits and pieces that uh, i found on my table mostly the mechanical parts such as little screw heads and some smaller cogs as well. This was all coming together beautifully. Once I dried my gel I could start painting again and my first step was splattering more of the tea infusion to create the tea stains and to make them flow I used some water. I wanted to follow the colors of the halo and that included some delicate red and some delicate blue so I took watercolor pencils and I carefully added a little bit of that color into my composition using water to soften it and make sure the colors blend together nicely. I think the trick when you are working with techniques like that is to be quite generous with water but to remember to dry the project from time to time as well. So it's not dripping wet, but wet enough to make colors blend. At least this is what I do. And there is a lot of drying and a lot of uh, spraying included in that process. For the final touches on the uh, collage, I started using pens. And not everything that I've uh, used, I've made with my pens, uh, would be visible later. It was uh, playing with this look. I was uh, playing with black, red and blue and I wanted to see what is going to happen. Bla red and blue were on the um, uh, map I used for Halo anyway, so that was um, matching perfectly. But the marks I made with black were really visible and uh, I wasn't so happy about all of them, to be honest. I really like the little red dots I was adding with the red pen. I think it was great accent, but I got really happy once I took this uh, regular blue pen and I started scribbling here and there, adding freehand doodles that look like, you know, when kids play inside of the books, they just make these random pictures. That was exactly my inspiration. And I'm so happy with the result. I love, I love that part. Uh, where the blue pen is visible. In the end, I decided that I need some sparkle. Not too much, but just a little bit. I took one of my paints, and this is a Sparks uh, collection, and I picked the um, Dragon's Eye color, which is very shiny gold. I mixed it with a little bit of water to make the splatters easier for me to make and I added that uh, to the project. In some parts I even touched with my 
pen uh, with my paintbrush to make sure the color would go exactly where I wanted it to go. For example, on the top of the black pen, I didn't like it too much. After this, I had to dry my collage completely and in the last steps, I was ready to put it all together. And the easiest way to do it would be just using 3D matte gel again and to stick my photo with the halo on the top of the composition. The problem was the big clip, the big plastic clip, which was so dimensional so I couldn't really um, stick the photo uh, in a flat way. So I had to use some dimensional support and I used a piece of cardboard that would be supporting my photo on the back. Sometimes the easiest, the most simple solutions are the best ones and this way I added extra dimension. So the photo is really standing out to the composition and I really love the final look of it. And this is it. I hope you like the uh, process video. If yes, please let me know if you have some thoughts, if you will have some ideas. I'm waiting for the comments, of course. Don't forget to share that video with your friends who may enjoy it as well. And to subscribe to the channel and ring a bell so you won't miss any uh, updates showing on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you'd like to see more, please visit our uh, website, finevar.com. And I hope it's going to be inspiration for you to create something at home using uh, old papers and maps. And if you like these collage techniques, feel, feel free to experiment, when, experiment with them, sorry, because I think there's huge potential and this kind of creativity. Take care and see you soon. It was Finever here and I hope that you will be back and we are going to make some more videos.